Alright, today I'm going to draw a street scene from Tokyo using the Pilot Cocoon Fountain Pen. The ink I'm using is from Pilot 2 and it's from the Arero Shizuku range. It's called Tsukushi, which is a really dark brown. But they have like a really nice selection of inks in that range, all quite natural colours. And uh, I also have the blue black, which is called Shinkai, uh, using another fountain pen. The paper I'm using is from Canson and it's a Bristol board and it's A3 size. So my technique for doing these drawings is that I go on a sort of wander around Google Street View until I find an area that I like and often just randomly find a street or a cluster of buildings that I like and then I'll copy that link from a Mac to my iPad and then use that as, as my reference. Before I use Street View I would, I would usually have to find images off the internet and then kind of collage them together to make bigger, bigger scenes so so then Street View is an amazing resource. Usually I just start off with uh, one object and then build out and I don't make any sketch lines or anything but when I'm using a pen. I quite like that you're kind of forced to, to put a bit more faith into the the strokes using a pen that because you, you can't really make a mistake so although I will be making small mistakes throughout this drawing but you just have to just find creative ways of covering them up. So I've moved the iPad over just because it was uh, casting a shadow and also the drawing although it took around two and a half hours it had quite a few breaks in between so the lighting changed quite a lot throughout the day. In the future I'm going to have to try and work out a different lighting setup so so I don't get that problem. With the ink not being waterproof I use that piece of paper that I'm moving around just, just to protect the drawing from my hand in case it smears. It dries really quick the ink but I always just worry that if I've, my hand gets sweaty or something I'll smear the ink. There is some permanent inks out there now but when I got this pen I didn't know very much about fountain pens so I just sort of went with what was in the shop. But uh, noodlers do a whole range of uh, permanent inks but fountain pens t to me seemed like a, a minefield of different types and styles. Pilot actually seem to have discontinued the uh, cocoon pen but they do still sell the Metropolitan which is the European version of it and that seems to come in a much bigger range but it seems to be half the price for some reason. The Metropolitan sells for roughly around £17 but Pilot do a cheaper plastic pen that has the same nib called the Kakuno. I think they often must be used in primary schools or something because it has a little smiley face on the nib. So that could that's another option. I mean if you're wanting a flowing pen, even a Mitsubishi Uniball I micro would would do the trick. That's what I used to use for years. I think I was always just put off with fountain pens because they seemed super expensive and the ones I'd used never really seemed to, to flow that nicely but but this one uh, does really well. And I'm, I'm glad, I, glad I got it. I don't know if you noticed at the bottom left corner of the screen the bright orange uh, cushion looking thing is what I use underneath my arm because it gets quite sore on my elbow usually from drawing or using the computer so 
even though that's not a hand I actually use the mouse with or anything, it just just uh, saves on any pressure on my, my elbow. It's part of getting old, I suppose. So I added in quite a lot of the details in the little shops on the right. So I'm just starting to fill out that scene. Try and finish off that corner so I can move back across to the other side. I reckon probably next time I'll just do these time lapses with music. It's taken ages to try and record the uh, audio for this, which has been a nightmare. I've ended up having to use uh, Logic after trying to use Premiere and not really being able to make it work. I think. Uh, Probably better to have music than listen to me drone on. <laughs> when I used to draw street scenes like this in the past, I would try and make everything super precise and use rulers and make make all the angles match up. But over the years, I've I kind of loosened up my style a lot. I suppose after looking at loads of different. Uh, comics and art and kind of develop a own style myself. Uh, a big influence was Taiyo Matsumoto's Black and White, where he was drawing characters and buildings that were just like super wonky, but, but I just really loved it. And uh, it was transferred like super well into the animation uh, called Tech on Concrete, which, which is, like if you haven't seen it, you definitely definitely check it. I think it's probably my one of my favourite animations ever. Uh, even even up there with Akira, definitely. So, uh, bottom right, there's a syringe just popped up, and that's what I use to refill my fountain pen. I didn't get the proper converters when I was in Japan, so the only way I can refill the cartridges by using a, a printer cartridge refill syringe which uh, works really well and it actually saves a lot of mess. I tried various different ways of doing it in the past and made a complete mess in my kitchen so, so I definitely re recommend getting one of those if you if you need to have, fill up your fountain pen. <laughs> It's, uh, so many different things to learn without and pens on, but not really realizing they don't all fit together properly was was a bad one, especially going into shops in Britain and trying to get get parts for them, and then just saying that they didn't sell anything that was from Japan. So I suppose the a lot of the one a lot of the shops here just sell Lamy pens, which. Which are alright, I suppose, but I, like I really like the fine nib on on the pilot one. So it's starting to get near the end, and I'm just adding in a lot of the overhanging wires that join into the poles. Uh, it's always a good chance that you can totally wreck your drawing by a big squiggly line, but I quite like, I quite enjoy doing them. <laughs> just trying to fill out the last few bits of details. That's when the street view comes in handy, especially for like tight, it's quite small, not on this uh, small banner that's uh, in the corner there. Oh yeah, I meant to say the little illustrations that popped up, they were all done on uh, A4 copy paper and the ink slightly bled a tiny wee bit more than it does in this drawing, but I kind of quite like the effect it has. It's just a sort of warning, just if you were going to do some drawings like that, that you might get some bleed. So if you made it to the end, thanks for uh, listening to me, <laughs> Jabbar Madness, for uh, nearly 10 minutes. And I don't think I'll probably do a video like this exact thing again, just because it took so long to record the audio for this. 
I'll maybe just put music on it and shorten it down. Cheers. <laughs>